This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 1, number 133. So Andreas, the managing artist for the mathematical broadcasting company, NBC, is designing a new logo for its on-screen mascot. Okay, so this is something like the new logo. Since you are working as his assistant, okay, he has given you the task of labeling the radian measures for all the marked angles. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Around the curved perimeter on the semicircle design he has created. He has already labeled zero, okay, zero, and pi. Sketch the diagram and label all of the distances from zero along the semicircle in terms of pi. Write your results as simplified fractions. Okay. So here we have zero, right? And here we have pi. So going around the circle, this is going to be something, then you're going to do something else. So let me start by, if we cut this semicircle in half, we know that right here, it's going to be half of pi, right? So in the middle, we have half of pi, which is one half times pi over one, which is just pi over two. So right here we have half of pi is pi over two, right? So, okay, so what's half? So this is how many sections? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six sections. If we cut that in half, we have three. So what's half of the half? So in the middle, of the middle is half half of pi over 2 right half of so the of means multiply so that's gonna be pi 1 times pi is pi over 2 times 2 is 4 so we know here at the half mark so we split that in half we get pi over 4 okay so these are all simplified fractions. That looks good. So if we cut this one in half, we're going to get half of pi over 4. Well, we multiply by half, we get pi over 8. But that is going to give us this section here, and our logo doesn't care about that section. Okay, so we have to do the rest by looking at what is 1 third, right? So this is 1, 2, 3. So 1 third is going to be this portion. So the very first marking after 0 is 1 third of pi over 4. So the of means to multiply. We get pi in the numerator. 3 times 4 is 12 in the denominator. So right here, we have pi over 12. Okay, so if this right here, we go up pi over 12, we go up again pi over 12, we go up again pi over 12. So each one of these increments is we're going to be adding pi over 12. So right here, I'm going to be adding pi over 12 plus pi over 12. Pi over 12 plus pi over 12. So they have the same denominators. So we just add the numerators. Pi plus pi is 2 pi over 12. We want to simplify the fraction so we can make this pi over 6, right? When we add again, we're going to add pi over 6 plus pi over 12. We're always going to add pi over 12, right? Every one of these is going to be adding pi over 12, so let's just do that. So we had 2 over pi, 2 pi over 12 or pi over 6 plus pi over 12. And we, oops, did I put pi over 6? Pi over 6, so we're starting here and we add pi over 12. I just want to, I'm doing that to make sure that this one is pi over 4. So we do that, we need a common denominator. Well, the common denominator, we're going to turn the 6 into a 12 by multiplying by 2 over 2 plus pi over 12, which is 2 times pi, 2 pi over 2 times 6 is 12 plus pi over 12 is 3 pi over 12. And we can simplify.
simplify that by, by dividing the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3, we get pi over 4. Okay, that looks good. That's consistent. So we're going to keep adding pi over 12. So what's pi over 4 plus pi over 12? So pi over 4, I'm going to look over here, was 3 pi over 2, just like pi over 6 was 2 pi over 12. So I'm going to instead add, so I'm going to use the unsimplified version to keep the same denominator. And I get 4 pi over 12. I can divide the numerator and the denominator by 4, and I get pi over 3. So this right here is this marking is pi over 3. I add again pi over 3. I want to add pi over 12 to it. Okay. So if I want to add pi over 3 and I want to add pi over 12 to get the next one, right? That's the same as adding 4 pi over 12 plus pi over 12 and I get 5 pi over 12. And can we simplify this? No. So this one is going to be in, as a simplified fraction, 5 pi over 12. So to get the next one, pi over 2, we were just adding 5 pi over 12 plus pi over 12, and we get 6 pi over 12 or pi over 2. When we simplify that, good. So let's keep adding pi over 12. Well, this is basically what? Pi over 12, 2 pi over 12, 3 pi over 12, 4 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 6 pi over 12, right? We have 2 pi over 12, 3 pi over 12, 4 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 6 pi over 12. We keep simplifying those. So I know the next one's going to be 7 pi over 12, and then 8 pi over 12, then 9 pi over 12, then 10 pi over 12, 11 pi over 12 until I get to 12 pi over 12. Okay, so that's going to be the last one. And I know 12 over 12 cancels out. So I'm just going to get pi. So that works out to be the last one. 7 pi over 12, can we simplify that? No. Right, okay. 8 pi over 12, can we simplify that? Well, yes, we could divide the numerator, divided by 4. So we get 2. If we divide the denominator by 4, we get 3. So this right here is going to be 2 pi over 12. Let me write that a little better. Again, this right here is 7 pi over 12. Okay, can we simplify this? Well, if we divide the numerator and denominator by 3, we're going to get 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this next one is 3 pi over 4. Oops, I made a mistake. This one over here was 2 pi over 3. Okay, so I'm just writing this here. This one we said divide them both by 3. We got 3 pi over 4. So here we have 3 pi over 4 for this marking. 10 pi over 12, we could divide them both by 2. Okay, so this marking here is 5 pi over 6. 11 pi over 12, well, we can't simplify that. So this one just can be 11 pi over 12. So these are the radian markings, right? for all of these distances around the semicircle, like the half of a circle. Okay, so we did a good job of being um, Andreas's assistant, and this ends CPM Precalculus Chapter 1, number 133.